Namaskar. Welcome to Conversations with Rakesh. In the last episode, one of you had asked me about reading and how that person couldn't read and he also asked me what are my favorite books. So in today's episode, I'm not only going to talk about my favorite books, but also my favorite movies and few podcasts because they're all connected. And I hope in these little, little ideas, you are inspired to be a lot more curious because let me tell you why curiosity is most important. Curiosity is the lamp which will take away all the darkness in our lives. And it is the only way you can move forward, which is why learning is so important. So on that note, let me share some of my best books and then talk a little bit about movies and podcasts as well. Um, and I'll focus a little bit on some genres. So in the books category, I'm going to talk about a little bit of business and history, two of my favorite topics and a little bit of fiction and uh, connect it to some movies and podcasts as well. So I talked about my first book that I read in college, which was The Godfather, extremely fictional book, well-made movie by Mr. Capola, one of the finest uh, movies, won a lot of Oscars. That fueled my hunger to read and watch movies. But then I also discovered a genre called business and I loved the business genre. Maybe that's why I gravitated towards business. And the first book I read in business was this book. It's called The Goal and written by Eliyahu Goldratt and Jeff Cox very nice book actually it's more like a story and uh, i actually was bored in hostel this was somewhere in the second year and uh, somebody had told me about this book and there was a reading room and i found this book there so i picked it up and the first page i was hooked on because the first page talked about a person's dilemma because his career is falling apart and his life is falling apart and then there is this factory that there's a subject called operations research how the factory is not able to produce goods and how there is a consultant who solves his problem and makes it a little bit better for him and it's all about clearing your mind and figuring out what's your goal that how do you want to fix your life at the fact and it is such a well-written book it has lots of technical concepts which honestly i skipped but i enjoyed the parts of where he connects his operational problems to his family problems and vice versa. And that's one thing that really draws me in books that books have an infinite capacity to give you many answers once you start applying those curiosity elements as we go along. So good book, the goal. Second one, which is one of my favorite genres is uh, uh, behavioral science and behavioral science has become a very big part in all our lives that we should understand ourselves. We really don't spend time in understanding ourselves. We spend a lot of time in understanding math, science, making machines, making robots, uh, doing works where we can make more money and buy more houses. But we should ask ourselves, how are we deciding? Do we even decide the right way? Are there better ways of decisions? And this book starts to bring that out, that we are so bad in understanding our own selves and our decisions are sometimes very stupid. And Daniel Kahneman and Amor Stuarsky, they were two friends, they did lots of research together and their story is remarkable. And they wrote this book, Amor Stuarsky unfortunately died and Daniel Kahneman got a Nobel Prize uh, for the work that they both did. And there is a book written on both of them also, which you could try and read. So the amount of books and concepts this these two people have spawned is phenomenal. So I encourage you to pick this up. It's a little difficult book. So if you can see the TED Talks and Google Talks of Daniel Kahneman and commentaries on this theory called the prospect theory from other academicians and amazing people, there are billions of TED Talks. I think you'll love this book a lot better. So this is book number two. Third, I love history. And I can't tell you how much we as a society don't regard history as a very important element of our education system. We think it's a boring subject, we don't memorize it, write an exam. It is the most important subject that answers the question, 
how have we come where we are and there is a great book one of my very good friends from jodhpur recommended he actually sent me this book and this book is written by sunil khilani called incarnations and it's the story of 50 people of india who shaped our country it says a history of india in 50 lives i mean absolutely delicious it's like a four four page five five page chapter on that person who shaped india right from uh, thousands of years ago till 1980s and it is such an amazing read and it told me so much about things about my own country i did not know and in fact bbc has a podcast by sunil khellani on this book and i encourage you to listen to that because if you can't read a book listen to the podcast it's free so this is the third book that i encourage you to do the fourth one a genre called fiction and there are two three of my favorite authors my favorite is sherlock holmes and this is the hound of baskervilles one of the most chilling books he wrote uh, and so well written i think i must have read it like a million times and not only this i have read the entire sherlock holmes connection million times i have it on kindle free and it's available free on kindle so you can download it um, and i also bought a audible version which is spoken by stephen fry so when i'm taking long walks i pick up my audible and i'm listening to stephen fry and stephen fry has this amazing way of enacting so he has a way to enact sherlock holmes voice watson's voice some irish man or some people from uk there is a indian butler also he enacts his voice and even there's a lady so stephen fry will enact his voice there's a bohemian king stephen fry does a great justice to sherlock holmes and he is a self confessed sherlock holmes head so i think you will enjoy that audio book this book is great any sherlock holmes book is amazing by the way Sherlock Holmes has the entire old series on BBC. I think Jeremy Brett was the Sherlock Holmes. Then comes Benedict Cumberbatch on BBC again, which many of you would know. And there is a new up series, not not very new, but a series called Elementary, which I thought was amazing. In fact, I liked that better than the Benedict Cumberbatch series. I and my son watched the entire. I think there were some many many seasons we finished it off and I can't get enough of Sherlock Holmes so Sherlock Holmes and the last a lovely book that connects history and science simple book small simple book and I told you that I don't like too bulky books it says the history of science in bite sized chunks by Nicola Charlton Meredith Meredith McCaddle and i chanced on this book on amazon and i instantly connected with it because it talks about historical approach towards science and i am very fascinated with science so i also follow many scientific authors and their lives and this book kind of talks about the lives of scientists that they were also human beings they made many mistakes and their inventions and discoveries changed the world and we are what we are because of these giants on whose shoulders science was built so i can go on and on and here are some amazing movies you can all watch if you have time that connect any movie like this movie which is about science and history there is a movie on amazon called the aeronauts and it's a story of two scientists actually one scientist and one pilot of a balloon and it's on amazon prime i think they go up and they start to study about the atmospheric pressure and this was done hundreds of years ago and if they wouldn't have measured atmospheric pressure i think it was in late 19th century if they wouldn't have done that we wouldn't be flying planes right now and what an amazing inspiring journey of these two going up and big storm and they almost lost their lives but they came back safe to tell the tale so please watch such movies and podcasts one of my favorite podcast is revisionist history by malcolm gladwell i'm a big gladwell buff uh, i have read all his books i think i've watched all his videos on youtube and his podcast is my gold standard uh, it's just that i love the way he researches and connects science social issues 
and many other issues in storytelling and i think the work he does brings amazing amount of logic to my life so find your books find your genres give it some time don't be in a hurry don't impress anyone do it for yourself because curiosity is the lamp that will take away all the darkness from your life